morning students how are you hope you are doing well so what are we going to do today so today we are going to learn about this special thing that right now you are seeing on screen can you guess it correct we are going to learn about dispersal of seeds so we are going to continue with our lesson plants increasing the number which is chapter number 1 of our textbook and as i said the topic will be dispersal of seeds so what exactly is dispersal of seeds let us learn the meaning of it the meaning of it is the external agents carry seeds or fruits away from their parent plants this process is called as dispersal i repeat the external agents like wind water etc carry seeds or fruits away from their parent plants this process is called dispersal and what is the need of dispersal why can't seeds grow just near to the parents like we do so the purpose is the plants are fixed to the ground and cannot move from one place to another like animals like us for obtaining food second important thing is if all the seeds germinate near parent plants they won't survive because they will not get enough sunlight food water and space to grow so they have to germinate away from their parent plants only then they can survive properly hence seeds have to depend on external agents so what are the agents of dispersal dispersal is carried out by wind water animals and sometimes by explosion of fruits sometimes the specific structure of certain seeds and fruits help these seeds in dispersal so first agent of dispersal of seeds that we are going to learn today is wind when wind blows certain seeds with specific structure like this dandelion they have some specific structure that allows them to float in air and they can go far beyond to germinate away from their parent plant so wind disperses them and this helps them to germinate properly so winds is our first agent of dispersal of seeds seeds of cotton madar and hiptage are light and have hair or wing like structure so they can be easily carried by wind these are few examples milkweed dandelion and maple so this specific seeds have a definite structure to it have some different structure which help them to float and fly in the wind so that they can go away from the parent plant and germinate properly and what is that special structure that they have they have hair or wing like structure our second agent for dispersal of seed is water we will take one example as you can see it here on the screen a coconut coconut has a fibrous outer covering that allow coconut to float in water and go away from its parent plant for proper germination so there are various examples of this that we will see it now so lotus fruit has a spongy part or coconut which we just saw, saw now has a fibrous outer covering 
that enables these seeds or these fruits to float on water and these are few example first example is of lotus fruit then there is coconut okay so this specific kind of fruits or seeds you can call it they have a specific structure that allows them to float in water and water then plays a role of a agent for its dispersal so that they can germinate properly birds animals including human beings we have a habit of eating fruits and throwing it away somewhere this habit of ours help the seeds to go away from their parent plants so animals also play a role of agent for dispersal of the seeds human beings and animals eat fruits like cherries and mango and throw away their seeds some seeds have hooks or spines which help them for germination they get stuck to the hairy skin of animals and are carried away this also happens sometimes sometimes birds swallow the seeds but they come out unchanged in their droppings okay so when they eat fruit sometimes they swallow seeds also but seeds remain unaffected they go, they don't get changed they come out unchanged in their droppings so these are few examples examples are bagatix then sandbar and blackberry these are few examples of the seeds which have a specific structure that allows them to get stuck in the hairy skin of animals and this help them for their dispersal while some fruits have this unique capacity they can explode so that the seeds are shooted far away from their parent plants like this so explosion also sometimes plays a role of agent in dispersal of seeds some fruits like peas in pod burst open or explode when dry the force of explosion helps to scatter the seeds and these are few examples violet then jewel weed and witch hazel these are few examples which have this unique capacity they can burst open in such a manner that the seeds are thrown away from the parent plants and which helps them for germination so that was all for today we learned about various agents of dispersal of seeds that we learned today which was very important now comes the last part which is assignment so first is fill in the blanks the lotus fruit has a dash part second the dash of explosion helps to scatter seeds third plants are dash to the ground so these are three fill in the blanks question is what is dispersal and c is what are agents of dispersal so question b is what is meaning of dispersal and question c is what are agents of dispersal so that's it guys thanks for watching this video hope you enjoyed it if you have any doubts feel free to ask me thanks again take care bye bye and have a nice day